Today, March 17th, 2024, is the last day to get up to $50 off at jegs.speedwayvideo.org using promo code SPRING at checkout. Chuck's still looking for his first win here in about 17 years. Chuck got back into racing here about three, four years ago. Takes the summer off to go up north and run the Crasherama series up there. And then he comes back in the winter months to run a handful of races. So Chuck's a uh, Chuck's what we call a, a part-time racer out here, but he makes the most of his time. And look at the score of win before he has head back up north at the end of April. So with all that said, we are set to go green. Heat number one of two for the Bomber B division. Colton Tut with the field in tow. Pulls up looking for green. They've got it. We're underway. Here's the new smart speedway. Hard to keep your eye on tonight. The zero, the black machine for Zachary Curtis. The bougie Motorsports ride. Zach Curtis on the inside of Chuck Rush. And Colton Tut got off to a good start in that big old zero five machine. Start the open car, first time out. Chuck Rush on the binders. Going to let Zachary Curtis go. Keep your eye on the mallet. Chase Simons in the 66. First lap, we're going to books. Colton Tuck's going to lead it. John Cook in the race car, and it looks quick here tonight. Colton Tuck leads, and it's Zach Curtis, that solid black machine in the second spot. There is a zero on the roof there. Might be tough to see from the grandstands, but that is the zero of Zach Curtis, the man who will drive just about anything. He's putting the pressure on Colton Tuck. Gets him loose off turn number four. Boy, he took the air right off his foot. Oh, wait, he doesn't have one. Colton Tut still showing away. Zachary Curtis trying to make something happen in that crown pick. Bomber B division. We run any four, I'm sorry, any six or eight cylinder machine. We got a lot of the crown picks, very popular class here in Florida. But you can run other makes as well. Before the 05 Colton Tut going up to the B20 and it turns three and four, picking up the sand. Delane's on the lead, that 05 is strong. You know, doesn't want to hold the bottom of the racetrack. Three laps in the books, Colton Tut showing away. Single file, all clean so far. That's what you want to see in the heats. This gives you just a little idea what the future is going to be like tonight. Halfway for the 05, Colton Tut's great job. Colton Tut's right now. Really sideways in the back of the field, the blue machine that hangs onto it. Braley did not get any practice. That team rolled in here just at the end of the driver's meeting. So they're going to use this as their shakedown, hope for better results in the future. Shannon Tutton, the 2T now putting some pressure on the other yellow canine machine. Chuck Rush hanging on to third and hanging on at this point. Five complete for Colton Tut. Jack Hurd is second, Chuck Rush third, Shannon Tut, and Shay Simons, the mallet, rounding out the top five. Jay Simons, the second place car here a week ago. We've expanded on the Bomber B field here this week by about six, seven cars. So, definitely playing into things. And how about this? Two to go. Colton Tut. Now, the head is showing here. First time out and he's showing away. Beating one of Florida's best racers, Zachary Curtis. Curtis, a masterful driver for these stock type automobiles, whether it be big old eight cylinders, four cylinders, enduro cars, you name it. Curtis can wheel it. And this time by coming to the white flag. One lap to go for the red, white, blue, zero, five, Colton Tut. Colton started on pole, and sometimes you see a new name on the top of the list. You just wonder if that might spell disaster, but so far, so great for the 05. Colton Tut, by about five car lengths now into three. Well, he tiptoed that corner just a little bit, trying to hit his marks. He's going to leave the bottom open for Curtis, but he's not going to get there. Colton Tut will come off turn number four and will win the first heat race for the Bomber Bees. Curtis second, Tut will third, Shannon Tut in fourth, fifth for the Mountain Bees. It's Chuck Brewer, Lindsey Samian, and James Straley, the glove man, going to come home in the eighth position. Those trucks getting lined up on pit road. Another good field. Truck division all throughout the state of Florida, very solid, whether you see them here or over at the Auburndale Speedway or elsewhere throughout the state. You can count on there being a solid field as we have here tonight. All right, Daytona Dodge American Auto Pace Cars set to pull off the Speedway. And Stefan Brother 
Stefan Brunner going to lead us to the green flag, and we're three wide already. Oh, Larry Masters did not get the win. Masters still trying to work out the Gremlins in the 77. He drops quickly to the back of the field. And that kind of stacked things up. And how about Kenny Roth in car number 80 going to the point? Kenny Roth in car number 80 showing away with the 49. Jason Scrover and fresh off a feature win a week ago. He's hungry. He wants to get up to the front of the field as well. Skinny coming down the front straightaway, going to lead lap number one. The car got a tune-up over the offseason. Battle is on for the second spot. Second place is the battle right now. Scrover and working the inside in front of the 49. Brunner on the outside. The white and red machine. He's going to drift back to the third spot. Randy Straley. He's going to move forward in cover 24. He's starting out back. He runs in the fourth position right now. Kenny Roth has the lead, but last week's winner, Jason Scrover in cover 49, rolling towards the front of the field. Battles on for third. Straley going to work the back bumper now, the 316. This time by. To look to the outside. Battle for the lead in turn one and two. Scroven falls back in line. I'm going to draft with the 80 down this straightaway. Here comes the white pony, Ben Say to the mix. Ben did not get any practice here today. He's up to fifth. It's a five car breakaway. The front look at this for the lead. The bumper tag. Roth gets the boot from the 49 to Scroven. into the back of Roth off turn four. We're going to new leader. Scroven now on the high side. You better start running away now. Kenny Roth, boy, he'll retaliate if he gets the chance. Roth actually settles back into the second spot, thinks better of, well, he remembers this just a heat race after all. We'll put down the memory bank for the future. Look at this. Three car battle for the first spot. Off the floor. Then he's the of he hangs on to it in the back of the field. Scroven leads. Roth has a great run in second and side by side for the third spot. Steven Brunner in the 316 on the outside. Randy Straley from the back of the pack. He wants third. He works the inside. This time by two laps to go for Jason Scrover. Last week's future winner. Scrover and out front in the 49. Roth in second. Straley third. Ben Say, he wants fourth. He's got a good run down the back straightaway. Look at that Mustang go. Ben Say trying to get up to third. Here's the white flag will come out. One lap to go for Jason Strober. Ben Say to the outside of Straley. Third place looks like it will be the battle here in the final lap. Ben Say rolls the top side of the race track and have momentum off turn number two. He'll win that drag race easily down the back straightaway. Ben Say rolling to the front of the Mustang. Too little too late, though, for the 58 machine. Checkered flag set to fly. The win will go to Jason Strober. Kenny Roth is off for a great run in the second. Ben Say is third. Randy Straley fourth. Stephen Brunner in the fifth spot. Larry Masters will be sixth. And then Kenny Coleman Jr. in the 52 to round out the field. Field is set. We're going to go back our way here. Heat number one for the Ashley Holmes Jacks Trucks Division. Here they come off of turn number four. Back underway. And a good start for the 59 Beck Monopoly as they kick up a little bit of dust. And whoa, Chuck Ayers down through the grass in turn number one. 
So now we got dust and sand on the outside and a little bit of dirt on the inside there. Well, agricultural racing on lap one of heat one for the trucks. Back Monopoly, last year's truck runner-up, missed the championship by two points, knows exactly how precious heat race points can be. She is off to the lead. Mike Whipple settles into second. Devin Kyle in that black number two machine into third. Chuck Ayers in the fourth spot. Dalton Smith into fifth. Randy Kuhn falling behind in the red number two. Kyle is sideways in front of Chuck Ayers, but hangs onto it. Monopoly continues to lead with two complete. Fifty-nine machine pulling away. Back of Monopoly. Back with a vengeance here in 2024. Got a chance to run the ARCA car up in Daytona. And now back behind the wheel of the Sashley Holmes Jacks Pro Truck. Ran over at Auburndale a week ago. It's a whole different animal, and she is storming away with it. Battle heating up for third. Chuck Ayers, the white number 21. Look at the bottom, almost some contact as Devin Kyle gets that truck sideways and kind of crowd walks down the speedway. Chuck Ayers got on the binders. Again, kind of rem remembering this just a heat race. Four laps complete. Halfway home for Beckham Monopoly's number 59. Michael Whipple back behind the wheel. Been about a year since they've been out here in the 35. Look at Chuck Ayers. He's able to charge the corner where Kyle kind of has to back up the entry to the corner. Kyle gets through the corner and hangs on to it, and he's closing in on Whipple. And now it's a three-truck battle for th the second spot. Airs to the inside. Kyle sticks that nose sideways again. Five and a half laps complete. Ayers finally gets down on the inside of Kyle. Back of Monopoly coming by this time to two to go. The battle rages in her rearview mirror now. Whoa, Ayers is sideways going into one, but hangs on to it. And Kyle's going to slip back to fourth. I think that kind of caught Kyle by surprise a little bit. Back of Monopoly will look for the white flag this time by. It is Monopoly. Whipple airs the top three. Field closing up together a little bit. Going into turn number one. Dalton Smith has caught this five-car battle now for the lead. I don't know if Becca's saving the tires or what, but the field kind of closed back in on her, but a little bit too late. Back Monopoly going to come off turn number four. Monopoly will see the checkers and win the first heat race for the trucks. Whipple second, airs third, then it's Devin, Kyle, Dalton Smith, and Randy Kuhn to round out the field. Thank you to Ashley Holmes Jacks for coming on board, sponsoring this division once again in 2024 and making it even more exciting here this year. And you know, we have a lot of racing going on in this region down south today and it's ended up being a beautiful day so there's racing here there's racing there we're going to see plenty of trucks throughout 2024 at many different speedways so here we go getting ready for heat number two jeffrey white on the bottom william robert's on the outside green is out in the 83 gets the jump robert's in the 83 let's see if he can hold strong on the outside groove in the corners Jeffrey White works the inside. Here comes Palmer Hag. Three trucks under a blanket off to number two. Drag race down the back straight away into three. Robert's in the 83 holding strong on the outside, but he's got two fast trucks on his inside as Palmer Hag gets sideways. Jeffrey White's going to leave this lap. And Jeffrey White out in front, side by side for second. Robert's in the 83. Powers off to number two. Takes the second spot away. Palmer Hag now falls into third, and they get single file. Single file in the heat race is not a bad deal. We want to see everybody around for the main event later tonight. But every position pays a point. And whoa, Palmer Hag going dirt track racing on the outside of one and two. Lots of speedy dry still up there in the high groove. And now we get all that stuff on those sticky tires. And now it'll be Wilson Martins Jr. working the inside of the racetrack. On William Robert, or on Palmer Hag, I'm sorry, Robert hangs on to the second spot as Jeffrey White has walked away by five truck links now. Jeffrey White all by himself off turn number four to the crossed flags, halfway home. Robert now has that green buyer for landscape 55 of Palmer Hag looking to the outside. 
Hagstruck wants to go up the racetrack in turn number one. If he could hold his groove, keep the momentum up, he might be able to get to the outside of the 83. It's tough to set up a pass that way, but if you can get to the outside of somebody here at New Smyrna, you can likely make the pass, but easier said than done as Roberge hangs on to second. Jeffrey White, meanwhile, pulls away at the front of the field. A little bit of bumper tag through one and two. Palmer Hag getting tight off the corner. Here comes Wilson Martins Jr., that black and blue 88 machine into the fray now. Three car battle for the second spot. Less than two laps remaining for Jeffrey White. Martins is going to pop to the inside of the Palmer Hag 55. Palmer Hag powers up on the outside, hangs on to third. Field singles back out. White flag is going to fly this time for Jeffrey White. The white is out for White. Final trip through one and two again. Palmer Hag loses the handle of the 55 in turn number one, and that'll allow the 83 to get some breathing room. Checkers set to fly for the Ashley Holmes Jacks trucks in heat number two, and the fly will go to Jeffrey White in truck 41. William Robert second. Palmer Hag, Wilson Martins Jr., Maria Martins, Nola Mason, and wrapping out the field will be the 95 for Ernie Winton. And the wind crosses the line. So if you're here during February and saw the 602 races out here, you'll notice that many of these cars did not run with the 602s, and they might have made the smartest decision of the season. The 602s put on some good racing during the World Series when they were racing, but they also uh, had some demolition derbies out there. And I was wondering why our locals chose not to participate this year, and I guess we figured out why. But always a fun division to have the World Series, fun division to have on the card here at the New Smyrna Speedway. We are getting set to go for their eight-lap heat race. Kurt Hatton and Christopher Hatton lead us to the green run away. Oh, nine, Christopher Hatton rolls the top side and the outside groove really gets going as Kurt Hatton kind of stacks everybody up. Kelly Jarrett did not get going very well. He's still at the back of the field, but it is Christopher Hatton with the lead, and here comes the 33 of Shane Held. Shane Held driving the Held Racing 602 mod tonight. He's up to second. Oh, and we got a couple of them around in turns one and two. Kelly Jarrett and I believe the two of Hank Baker Jr. have gone around, so yellow is out. No contact, but a couple of cars getting out of shape and going around. Hank Baker Jr., the first of those to do so. He'll have to go to the end of the longest line. And, hey, there's a new trailer coming in. So we'll see a mystery machine in the feature events later tonight. So when you see that random car out there for the feature and we have no idea who it is, we'll uh, do our best to bring it to you. Green flag back in the air for the 602. Side by side for the lead. We'll see what Shane Held can do here up with Clean Racetrack as he's going to be wheel to wheel with Christopher Hatton out on the back straightaway. Christopher Hatton on the bottom. Shane Held, the white machine on the outside, slipped up a little bit on the entry to three. And they're still side by side here down the main straightaway. Close quarters action for the heat race win. John Hatton slows in the 88 machine on the front straightaway. We'll watch him. We will hope that he can make it off the speedways. We have a heck of a battle for the race lead right now. Shane held outside, Christopher Hatton on the inside. John Hatton stays on the racetrack. We stay green, held out in front by a bumper bar that time. John Hatton looks like he's gonna be able to roll the apron of the racetrack, make it to safety. As still the battle rages on for the top spot. They are bouncing around there on the back straightaway. Might have been a little bit of contact between the two that might have rubbed rails. Still a good race for lead. And here comes Tom Toronto, that blue and white 69 moving into the picture now. Three car breakaway, and oh, Shane Held gets stacked up. Shane's gonna go to the bottom. Crossover move off turn number two. Great racing at the front for the 602s. Shane Held pushes off the bottom of the racetrack, advantage down to the 09, and Toronto is there. Three cars duking it out with five laps complete for the 602 modifieds. Great action at the front of the field. Things settle down for the time being. Christopher Hatton with two car links on Shane Held now. It's the handling going away on the 33. He's up the racetrack again in three and four. That's the pull it down off the wall and Hatton's lead grows. Tom Toronto out of the back of the pack. He's gonna battle with Shane Held for second. Shane Held with a fast car, but 
Well, it doesn't seem like anybody's handling well. It's Toronto was pushing off turn number two that time. Toronto, though, launches through the center of the corner, but has to catch up with the steering off the corner and falls back. White flag is out. Final lap now for Christopher Haddon in the 09. Haddon had to fend off. Shane held with some great side-by-side -side action. Final time into three. And Christopher Hatton in the 0-9 is going to come home a winner. Second will go to Shane Held. Tom Toronto, a valiant effort in third. Come home in fourth will be Hank Baker Jr. Kelly Jarrett rounding out the top five. Then it will be Tony Pereira and Kurt Hatton to round out the field. Good racing there for the 6-0-2s. And here comes Kurt Hatton in the Franks for Red Hot. Number 19 to complete his run. So here we go, eight laps for the sportsmen to finish up heat race action, then we'll get ready for the features. Green flag in the air for Matthew Green in the 44. Sharp looking field, heads down into turn number one. Steve Barnes getting aggressive on the back bumper of the LeBeau 88. Boy, they're stacking up down the back straight away. The top two break away, a little bumper tag further back. Devendorf in the seven, got a nudge from the 21. And a lot of them one clean and in the books. With a 51, John Robinson already with some donuts on the side of that machine. He's sideways again off turn number two. Watch that white 51 back of the field. Dylan LeBeau struggling in the 88. He got kicked to the outside. Really nowhere for him to go right now. Matthew Green has set sail in clean air. George Alexander in the 63. He's got help from the legendary Jeffrey Bodine. Helps turn wrenches on that car. Alexander in the second. And how about the mad scientist, Steve Barnes? Started back in the seventh spot. And how about Palmer Hag started out back in the former Steve Gill machine. He's up to fourth. Steve Gill, the champion of the Touring Series for the sportsman that runs throughout Florida last year. He's retired. He's moved on. Palmer Hag doing double duty in trucks and sportsmen tonight. And he is all over the back of former champion Steve Barnes now for third. Matthew Green, another double duty driver. We heard from several drivers that had two or three different divisions that they were running with or helping with. So the schedule was set up to give those drivers an opportunity to have a little bit of time in between the races. A lot of effort goes into these machines and we do our best to try to work with the teams when they let us know they need something. Field has singled out. Five laps complete. Some tense moments early. And now just two laps to go in our heat race action here tonight. Best battle is at the back of the field. Dylan LeBeau still slip sliding backwards. That team will have to go to work on the 88 car. White flying in the air just like that. Final lap of heat race action. The battle for third. Here comes Palmer Hag in the 55. Hag in that day glow red and white machine working the inside of Barnes. Red 58. Drag race down the back straight away for third as the top two have separated from the rest of the field. Checkers ready to fly. Heat race is complete. Final one goes to Matthew Green. George Alexander second. Palmer Hag slips through to third. Steve Barnes fourth. Travis Devendor fifth. Then it's Reeves. Robinson, Hetznecker, and LeBeau rounding out the field. Austin and Becca, I believe they are here. Austin's working turn number four today. Another driver coming up here to help with the collection at this time. Got a few more coming as well. So, Steve and everybody else, if you, we, uh, we thank you for your help here tonight. If you guys want to start making your way through the grandstands. So fans, at this time, if you see the drivers walking around with their helmets, good photo op as well. We'll allow that. If you have it in your heart to help out a family in need as their young children battle a rare disease. We collected over $400 here last week to give to that family. It's one of our mission statements here at the New Smyrna Speedway, not only to have great racing here throughout the year, but to help those in need. Cheers.
Get exclusive discounts when you shop jegs.cbvideo.org. Take your garage to the next level and support the channel with your buy at jegs.cbvideo.org. Favorite here tonight on the pole after the three car invert, it was Wayne Parker, the fast qualifier back in row number two on the inside. Matthew Green doing double duty tonight, modifieds and sportsmen. Greg Crom in that 35 up on the podium several times here last season. Don't sleep on that machine. Brad Bowman, the wild card here tonight. A couple of cars towards the back didn't qualify well, but they have 75 laps to get to the front. Well, let's drop the hammer. Jerry Simons brings us to the ring. Shane Held in the 33. He's got the run on the outside, but almost has to park it in the corner to bring it back down the hill. Side by side for the lead. Oh boy, Gaten gets a piece of the wall in a big way. In trouble, Matthew Green stacks up the field. We've got four of them in the wall on lap one. Caution, flag is out. Matthew Green has gone around, involved his fast qualifier, Wayne Parker in the one. Greg Crom locked up the wheels, skidded into the incident. Not sure how bad the damage is. And then Brad Bowman had nowhere to go. He got swallowed up in that one. So caution is out here early on. I do not believe we got a lap complete. Matthew Green with damage. 15 of Matthew Green. And Wayne Parker will be up on the outside of Williams 32. Williams did not qualify. He's hanging out at the rear of the field. Here we go. Take two to get the 75 lap run away. And again, Shane Hill gets a big jump. Did not get through one and two well the first time, but he's parked it down on the inside of the racetrack. And this time rolls through the apex with the lead. Matt Jarrett with a big move. Getting by Brian Gaten's number 16. So watch the one in the 15 from the back of the field. We'll see if they're able to make their way back into the mix as Shane Hill will lead lap number one. And Brian Gaten just trying to get out of the way in the 16. He was caught in a hornet's nest and everybody able to get by. Parker now looks to the outside. Oh, bumper tag for the lead. Jerry Simons hard in the back of Shane Held. And that's one way to take the lead. If you wonder why they call him the hammer, you know now. The hammer, Jerry Simons out in front. Little bump and run on lap number two to take over the top spot. Brad Bowman in the two machine. He's been having a field day over at the Showtime Speedway the last year or so. Now up to third here at New Smyrna. And Matt Jarrett in the 2H trying to follow the other number two up through the field. the hammer used the 33 as the nail a lap ago and he's beginning to set sail he's got about a five car length lead as they come to complete lap number four simons leads it shane held in second brad bowman up to third gregory crom running in fourth fifth for matt jarrett wayne parker already back to the sixth spot damage to the front end of the one w not slowing him down too much in the early stages the Parker, he got behind the 2H, so I don't know with the damage to the nose if that took the air off the front of the car. I don't know if we're going fast enough for that to come into effect, but Parker's up the racetrack. Maybe that's where his car needs to be for it to run well. Could just be the line he's needing to take. Jarrett's running that line too, so who knows. Jarrett a little bit high this time. Parker fishing on the bottom, looking for the fifth spot. Boy, the nose of the 1W, all kinds of wrinkled up. He runs in fifth. Matt Jarrett's only worked up to the eighth spot. Jarrett now look at the, or I'm sorry, Matthew Green, the 15, working to the outside of Bruns, falls back in the line. Oh, spin around, Brian Gaten all by himself. Look out, Dylan Williams. Takes evasive action and did not have much room to get by. The second yellow of the night is out. Brian Gaten goes for a single car spin over there in turns one and two. So Brian Gaten went around and Dylan Williams came over there and said, whoa, there's a car in the way. All right, so we are set for the restart. Jerry Simons, your leader, selected the outside for the restart. Green flag set to come back out here as the 1W Wayne Parker will not make the restart. Shane Held spins the tires and we're back underway. 
So one of the perennial contenders out of it. Yellow going to come back out. We're not going to take that start. It's a tough break tonight for Wayne Parker as he's parked the 1W. So you cannot touch the orange V on the restarts when you choose. So no start last time. And we'll see if we get a better one this time. Shane Held, the second place car, working the inside of Jerry Simons. Here they come. They stack up off turn number four. And the field goes back to green. Shane held a much better restart, but running the outside of the racetrack and running away the lead again, it's Jerry Simons in the 66. Simons might be tough to beat. And that sharp new black and blue design on that machine. The traditional red and black is gone, and it's now black and blue, and that's how the rest of the field feels behind him. Shane Held settles back into second. He's got a fast car, and around is Brian Gaten again in turn one and two. Yellow is out. Second time tonight, Gaten's gone around in turn one and two. Lap eight now complete. In your leader, he's on the outside. Shane Held on the inside, 66 and 33. Greg Crom third. He's on the inside of row two with Brad Bowman is outside. Matt Green up to fifth, and then Matt Jarrett, Alan Bruns, Brian Gaten, and Dylan Williams as we're set to return to green flag racing. Let's see, green flag. And the outside groove again gets the roll. No start, another lazy green. And they're not really getting them, so we'll try it again. Pace car will speed away. Simons and Held will size each other up again. The two veterans playing mind games. Restart's very important. And here we go, slow through the box, waiting on Tyler's green flag. Green is in the air. Both drivers kind of spinning the tires, but they are even in one and two. Outside groove, looks like they're gonna have the momentum again off turn number two. Simon's away with the lead. Brad Bowman used the outside. He's going to climb up to third, but Greg Crom, blue 35, works the inside once again. Nine laps now up on the scoreboard. 66, Jerry Simons, the hammer still showing away. Shane Held, the veteran, in second. Brad Bowman, Greg Crom fighting for third, and Matt Jarrett in the 2H has worked up to fifth. Matt Green in the 15 early race incident. Damage to the back end of the car has him in the sixth spot. Just ahead of Alan Bruns, who's working his way back into race shape. Bruns not able to be with us during the World Series. He had some procedures done. Good to have him back behind the wheel kind of before. Dylan Williams runs in the eighth spot. Ninth is Brian Gaten and out of the race early with crash damage. The 1W Wayne Parker, the fast qualifier, sitting having to watch this one now. 12 laps will be complete this time. Jerry Simons trying to run away and hide. But remember, like I said, oh, trouble almost for the 16. Now trouble for the 2H of Jarrett. Jarrett caught a piece of the front straightaway wall. The 16 missed the corner, and he was heading for the concrete. Two separate things at once. And Jarrett is low on the back straightaway. And Jarrett got a piece of the front straightaway. It looked like Brian Gaten was going to hit the concrete in three and four. Jarrett stays on the racetrack, but he is way off the pace. And there you see concrete dust in the wheel wells of car number 2H. He's trying to catch his breath, reset, feel the car out, see if he can continue on. But that'll move Matt Green up to fifth. Simons continues to lead with 14 complete. Jerry Simons in the 66, still showing the way. Shane Held still in second. Brad Bowman has cleared his way to third. 16 laps complete. Greg Crom in fourth, but he's got a mirror filling up with a 15. That yellow machine. Matthew Green. Matt Green trying to close in for fifth despite the early race incident. 
So again, we're getting to that point where the car is starting to get strung out a little bit. I still think attrition is going to come into play tonight. Might see somebody with a big lead and then something might happen. Battle for fourth now, heating up. Matthew Green getting more confident behind the wheel. That 15, oh, he got too confident. He bounced off the front straightaway wall. Matt Green tucked right behind the 35 of Greg Crom as that front straightaway wall narrows up going into one. He caught a wheel. Oh, and he caught a wheel down the back straightaway. Matt Green, not sure where the right side wheels are on that race car. Bounce off the concrete two laps in a row. So Matt Green, he's going to have to play catch up. So Matt Green now fading backwards. Sixteen, Brian Dayton, he dropped off the pace. He's trying to keep his car on track and not go around again. He's gone a lap down to Jerry Simons. Now Matt Jarrett slows in turn number three. Two H Matt Jarrett. Jarrett to the pits. Tough break for the two H. He hit the concrete about five, six laps ago. And now you see Matt Green. He was right on the back bumper of Gregory Crom. He's probably knocked something out of alignment. On the right front, that would be my guess, is the 15 now pushing up the racetrack. Big lead net right now for Jerry Simons. Shane held 33 in second. Brad Bowman in the third spot. Greg Crom tiptoes around the 16. Field starting to spread out, starting to thin out a little bit. A couple of cars now out of competition. Twenty-four laps complete, fifty-one remain for the sixty-six of Jerry Simons. After a wild start and some wild moments, things begin to calm down just a little bit as we come to the one-third mark of the race. 50 laps to go a long way for Jerry Simons in the 66. Two cars out of the race, one W, Wayne Parker, two H, Matt Jarrett. Parker with crash damage. Jarrett bounced it off the wall and either had something mechanical or some kind of damage. Battle for fourth, heating up again off turn number two. Down the back straightaway, yellow 15, catching the blue and green 35 of Gregory Crom. A straightaway, that is the lead now for Jerry Simons in the 66 over Shane Held and Brad Bowman. Battle for fourth, heating back up as Matthew Green settled back into his rhythm after kissing the wall a couple of times. Looking to the low side on Greg Crom's 35, and now gonna get inside of him off turn number two, drag race down the back for fourth. They're a half a lap behind the leader, but they are duking it out for position. Matthew Green on the bottom gets by Greg Crom's 35 for fourth. Last year, Greg Crom did not qualify well here at the New Smyrna Speedway, but he raced really darn well. This year, he qualified well, and he's struggling here in the mid stages of this one. Still a long way to go. Next time by will be 30 laps complete. Well, Greg Crom's starting to fall off the pace. He may have burned up his tires. Something might be laying down on the 35 as he just lost fourth, and now he's losing touch with the 15. Allen Bruns in the 4B runs in the sixth spot. I believe seventh is the red 32 of Dylan Williams who want to lap down. So a 30 laps complete. Long green flag run here and a long way to go for the modifieds. These tires are going to start to heat up. Drivers are going to start to wear down. Parts and pieces going to start to wear out. A lot of things happen late in these modified races. We're in that stage of the race where things just kind of run for a while. Drivers trying to get the most out of their cars, but mechanical gremlins usually start to show their head past the lap 45, 50 mark. And we're closing in on that with 32 complete. Well, Shane held out of shape and turn four hangs onto it. 
Shane Held about lost it in turn number four. That's the second place car. He's off turn number two now, and he's got the number two. Brad Bowman closing the gap now for second. Jerry Simons, your leader at the line now, 33 complete. And the other 33, Shane Held really struggling from the apex of the corner off. That car is evil right now. Up the racetrack, takes forever to get back in the gas, and here comes Brad Bowman. Well, Brian Gaten about went around, there goes Shane Held. Caution, caution on the speedway. We're going to check the backs of these race cars if somebody is leaking fluid. Thanks for coming. Your night is over. If you're not leaking, well, you get to go right back out in your position. So not the break Gary Simons wanted to see. And, folks, we found the culprit. It was, in fact, held in the 33. Rear end was leaking real bad on the 33. That would explain his handling woes. Well, he was actually getting into his own fluid, and now you'll see some windshields getting cleaned. And if they were close enough to the 33, they probably got sprayed with whatever was coming out of the back. So Shane Held's strong run tonight has gone out the window. So caution out for oil or grease or whatever. Third will be the 35, Greg Crom. Matt Green in the 15 machine on the outside of row two and fourth. Alan Bruns, white 4B in fifth. Dylan Williams and Brian Gaten a couple laps down as the field has thinned down to seven. Green flag will fly this time by on the flag man and we are back on the way. Brad Bowman with a wheel out in front, but let's see what happens down here through one and two. It'll be Simons on the outside getting the advantage once again. Jerry Simons by two car lengths going into three. Greg Crom now works up to third. Jerry Simons by three, make it four car lengths now on the back straightaway with 35 laps complete. Who's going to make it to the end? We've already seen two really fast race cars. The top two in qualifying have fallen out. And it's all Jerry Simons right now at the front. Will his car last? Can he hang on? Will we get some more action? You never know. That's why you were on the laps. Brad Bowman hanging on to that second spot, but here comes that 35 car, Greg Crom, starting to come to life. Really was the second half of the races where he started to show up here last year. The top five all in line right now. Remember the 32 and 16. There, a couple laps down to the back of the field. They are waiting, hoping for more attrition, but still in play tonight. Simons, Bowman, Crom, your top three battle. Heating up for fourth. Matthew Green, new driver of the Brickhouse Motorsports 15, pulling away from Alan Bruns now, drawing a beat once again on Greg Crom's 35. Those two had a good battle over the last run, 39 laps complete. We are past halfway in this one. Top two breaking away now from Greg Crom in the blue and green car. Crom up on the podium several times here last season. Trying to do it once again. Brad Bowman in car number two. Running well for his first time here in a while. And he's been running over at the Showtime Speedway and a couple other bull rings down south as Dylan Williams heads pit side. He's really made Showtime Speedway his playground the last few years, so it's good to see him back out here on the high banks. The Williams will call it tonight. We're down to six. Top six guaranteed for these drivers here. 42 laps will be complete. Simon still leading with the fastest car on the racetrack. Bad news for the rest of the field. Jerry Simons, by far the fastest car on the racetrack that time by. 
Brad Bowman, though, trying to keep him honest. Jerry Simons had a big lead over that last green fly run, and that two starting to inch closer. Let's check the lap times this time by with 44 laps complete. Ooh, and that time Bowman is quicker. Brad Bowman, the only car in the 19-second bracket right now, and he's closing big time on Jerry Simons. Bowman is faster. Simons, the veteran, going to make that car wide. But Bowman is coming. Battle for the lead is heating up. 30 laps to go. That's still a long way to go. And Jerry Simons, the Wiley veteran, is not going to be easy. Bowman still just a skosh quicker that time. Lap traffic. Gaten in the way. Stays down on the bottom. That is the slow groove here at New Smyrna. Leaders get by. Keeps it low from that way. Lap time's going to be negated by the slow car that time, and they were about dead even. Bowman trying to get back to work. His car getting through the corners pretty well, but you see Simons pull a gap up off. Bowman closes in. It's two car lengths now. Race for the lead, heating up with 47 laps complete. The race is on here at New Smyrna. Simons, Bowman, Crom, the top three, still within the same half straightaway. About half a straightaway back to 15 of Matthew Green. Bowman a little bit tight in behind the wake of the 66. This time by, we'll check the times again. Jerry Simons faster by a second or a tenth and a half. Spotters up on the stands, letting these drivers know, probably keeping up with the lap times, and somebody's in the air. Simons letting them know he's got company with Brad Bowman. Simons has begun to pick it back up, a 19.965. Jerry Simons now the quickest car on the track once again. Bowman for about four or five laps was a bit quicker, so Simons probably had settled into a groove, maybe try to cool the tires down a little bit, let Bowman catch a sniff, and now starting to pull away. It'll be 25 laps to go this time. 25 laps to go. The hammer, Jerry Simons, out in front. That lead opening up now to seven tenths of a second. Brad Bowman trying to get back up on the wheel. Simons probably went to save mode. And now he's back on, well, excuse the pun, back on the hammer trying to pull away. Things settle down inside of 25 to go. Top five still on the lead lap. Ryan Gaten, the only car lap down. Both cars even that time by, but you see Bowman, he's starting to drop back. The lead, nine tenths of a second. Jerry Simons again on kill mode now, 53 laps down. Alan Bruns is slow in turn number four and almost got the 16 off guard. Alan Bruns, the fifth place car shuts down. Brian Gaten, he keeps on keeping on, ladies and gentlemen. He does not have the fastest car tonight, but at this point, staying on the racetrack and net him perhaps, potentially a top five. He is a couple laps down. He'll make a couple more circuits and jump up onto the scoreboard for the first time tonight. 20 to go next time by for the Hammer, Jerry Simons. Even spacing between the four and the lead lap. Ryan Gaten in the sixth, another lap or two, checking with timing and scoring as he is scored right now. He's about, uh, well, three laps down, so he should jump up onto the scoreboard this time or next time. There it is. Brian Gaten, fifth on the board with 56, now 57 complete for the 66 of Jerry Simons. Brian Gaten, he's had a rough night, a couple of self spins early in the race. He's backed his pace way down because he's on the edge of the three-strike rule. Sometimes slow and steady, you'll get something for your troubles. We saw it with Mark Brote in the Mod Mini Challenge race a week ago. Did not have a fast car. Was in a backup car after a qualifying incident and survived to finish in the fifth spot. 
Now you got to wonder, will the two, 35, will the 15, will they last? I don't know if they'll catch Jerry Simons because Simons, again, really starting to pick up the pace. He was about three-tenths of a second quicker than the two of Bowman last time. Simons still considerably quicker. Looks like he's got a real good long run car as the others begin to fade. Simons will come to 15 laps to go, but that is still plenty of time for things to get eventful. These modified challenge series races often turn into races of attrition. They're almost like Enduros with the yellows. Will you survive? Can you make it to the end? The battle from second to fourth, still in question. Ba Brad Bowman starting to slip backwards into the clutches of Greg Crom. 62 down for the 66. Half a straightaway lead or more. Yeah, it is more than half a straightaway now for Jerry Simons. He's got a 2.8 second lead on Brad Bowman. Bowman was two car lengths behind about 10, 15 laps ago. That is how quickly things have changed here. As Jerry Simons got back up on the wheel, felt the pressure for a moment, and now he's having to drive away once again. Oh, spin in turn two right in front of the leaders, and that is number three for Brian Gayton. Four-car shootout to the finish with 63 laps complete. Lights are down on the Daytona Dodge American Auto Pace Car, hopefully for the final time in this race. We will see the green flag. EJ pulls pace car to safety. Jerry Simon's your leader. They wait on Tyler's green flag. Here they come. Green is out. Pushing and shoving on the inside lane. Bowman does not get going. Simon's away with the lead. And now Matthew Green with a chance. Greg Crom going to go three wide. Three wide off turn number two for a moment. And Matthew Green's got the momentum now in the 15. He's stuck up on the outside, and Simon's is loving it. He's pulling away again. Simon's probably knowing that Earl Michelle was to maybe root and gouge him out of the way. Going into one contact with Matt Green and Brad Bowman. Green up the racetrack. He kicks up the dust. So Bowman, now you got to wonder about the tires. Looked like the Hoosier insignia was rubbed off last time as he came by. We'll see if it's any worse this time as he made pretty big contact there with Matt Green. All the while, Jerry Simon's pulling away. Tires look good despite the rub marks. And Matthew Green with a big run off turn number two. He walked it down the hills. Got a run. Greg Crom in that 35, though. Well, was going to hold on for a minute, then didn't get off the corner. Matthew Green up to third now. Green with a damaged race car. No back bumper bars to protect the fuel cell. And the 35 of Greg Crom slips back his spot. Green now smelling second. Blood in the water dead ahead for him. 66 complete for the 66 of Simons. Make it 67 now. The hammer. Jerry Simons trying to run away and high. Got a great restart there with 12 laps remaining. We'll see if we can hang on for the remaining eight. The lead once again, 1.6 seconds now. And it could come down to Brad Bowman spinning the tires or whatever happened on that restart. 68 laps now complete. Battle raging on for second. Matthew Green having a great run here tonight. Definitely his best showing in the modified so far since he's jumped behind a wheel to 15. And he is closing on Brad Bowman. Bowman might have used up all the good in car number two on that last run. Simon's walking away his last lap of 19.882. Bowman a 21.18. So significantly faster for Jerry Simons. He's been the story tonight. A couple of his top competitors, the two that qualified better than he did in qualifying, have fallen out. And Simon's pulling away. Five laps to go. Five to go in what's been a very eventful modified race here at New Smyrna. It doesn't look like much right now, but it's been a good one. And Jerry Simons will agree because he's spanked the field so far. Matthew Green up on the wheel of car number 15. He third tracks it off the corner. Brad Bowman starting to settle into that second spot now.
This time by, we're coming to two laps to go. Two laps remain for Jerry Simons in the 66. Brad Bowman comfortably in the second spot. Everybody's pretty much settled in. They just got to hit their marks, bring it back home. Jerry Simons coming off turn number four. Once again, he'll see the white flag. The Gene Kelly roofing number 66 machine with a new look here to start the 2024 season. But it's the same old Jerry Simons at the front. Big lead down the back straightaway. Brad Bowman second, Matt Green in third. And as long as nothing crazy happens off turn number four, race one of the modified challenge series will go to the hammer, Jerry Simons. Second to Brad Bowman, third, Matthew Green and Greg Crom. Brad Bowman over to uh, over to the window here, speaking to Jerry. All friendly conversation down here, laughing, smiling. They're winning tonight, Jerry Simons in car number 66. Jerry, it looked just like last week, another dominating performance for you. Had some good cars here tonight, and you're able to hold everybody off. Congratulations on the win. Yeah, I got to thank, uh, uh, first and foremost, uh, Sean Bass, BA Chassis. He spent his time over at our shop, spent a day over there helping us do a little setup work and uh, a little fine-tuning. Uh, Whatever he did must have worked pretty good. So, got to thank him for sure. Got to thank Gene Kelly, Gene Kelly Roofing, Davis Surfaces, Davis Surfaces, something like that, Services. Uh, thank them, uh, EJ at American Auto. Uh, thank my wife for letting us put all the hours into this that we have to do to get up front here. So, and uh, hope my kid can do the same thing here in just a few minutes. Yeah, now you got to switch over to the crew chief and get ready to see what he can do. Uh, Car's looking good. New uh, new wrap job on this thing. What's the inspiration behind the black and blue car this year? Uh, the uh, the new sponsor, Davis Services, uh, he said uh, he wanted to wrap it. We've always done old school paint. And uh, he said, I'll take care of it. So if he's taking care of it, he can do what he wants to do. That's, that's how we roll. That's, that's what you got to do here. You know, uh, as much money as this stuff costs, somebody offers to do something for you, you got to let them do it. Absolutely. Well, the car's running good and looking good. Congratulations again, Jerry. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it. Jerry, one more thing. As a winner tonight, you get to choose the winner of our 50-50. I'll let you reach in. I need more hands for this down here. So ladies and gentlemen, let's have a nice round of applause for your winner tonight, Jerry Simons in the 66. You got to thank the Hart family, too, for keeping this thing open. They could they could easily close the doors like everybody else is doing. And uh, every once in a while, they got to dip in their purse and put a little money in here. But uh, not tonight. We're good. Well, there you go. Jerry Simons, your winner. Brad, Brad Bowman in second place. First of all, good to see you down here. I know you've been running well over at Showtime and some of the other tracks throughout the state. Man, you, you came out here with a great run tonight. It's hard to beat Jerry Simons and some of these guys here, but you guys showed up with a good piece. I know. I, I can't thank my dad. Fatback Racing Engines, DLP Motorsports, uh, all my guys that helped me. It was, it was such a joy to see that 66 get bigger, and I knew he was saving it. I know he's a smart driver, and and as long as we were there, you know, that was that made me happy just finishing second to these guys, you know, almost causing a big one in the first lap. You know, I don't know what those guys were thinking when they're 75 laps, but hey, we got a got a second place out of it. We missed the first practice. The hood flew off in qualifying. This is the first race with the car. We made 10 laps so that we were working on it last night to get it loaded to get over here. So to come and finish the race is a hell of a accomplishment for us, let alone second. So. I just can't thank my dad for working so hard to get this car this fast, and, and hopefully we can be back here and make it one more spot better. Well, we see a lot of guys that don't run here all the time. When they make a trip down here, it usually doesn't end too well, and it looks like a lot of things were stacked up against you, but for you guys to persevere and get to second, like you said, feels like a win, but like, like I said earlier, also good to see you out here. Congratulations. Hopefully we can get some more of these guys that come around to these big tracks. It's hard to get used to it. And really learned a lot once I followed Jerry there. And if we could get some more cars here, we'd have some really exciting races. I believe that. We hope to see you here again. Brad Bowman brings it home with a great second place run tonight. First time out in the car. And, uh, boy, if he's back, keep your eye on the two car. He's about the only guy that could stay in the same zip code as Jerry there towards the end. And how about this guy? We talked to him a bunch here at New Smyrna. First time up on the podium in a while in a modified. Matthew, great to see you up here. Driving uh, the famous number 15 car to a third place run, and your back end's all crumpled up. So, good night for you. Yeah, I definitely didn't think we we're going to finish the race the way it started. I guess uh, everybody in this division has been parkered. I didn't think I had yet, but I guess now I got my fair share. Thought we had a hell of a race car practice good and qualified pretty good. We we're okay. I can't qualify to save my life, but after the first lap wreck, it just kind of was on from there. And then 
Thought we had second there, and the short track guy in front of us, I guess, decided to clear himself going in one, and that's a good way to get yourself hurt at this racetrack. But the Brickhouse boys, these guys there are behind uh, uh, Steve Carter drove all the South Carolina today just to watch this race. You got Scott, gives me one heck of a motor in this thing. Without him and Lewis and James and my mom and dad, this car wouldn't make it a track. We work on this thing day and night every week, and I don't know if I ever get the opportunity I got with this car, and I appreciate it as much as I can say. Well, I think you're going to do good things in this car, and hey, you got another race later tonight. So we wish the best of luck in the sports and race as well. Yeah, I'm glad I got a couple races to go recover because that was a long one. Yeah, these guys are going to need a rest to get ready for the rest of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, Matthew Green brings it home with a hard five, third place finish. Go to patreon.com slash speedway video now. Permanent home for themselves, but get yourself a crown Vic or a six or eight cylinder. Come have some fun with us here at New Smyrna. This is a good place to get it started. And you see this class that a couple of years ago had one or two cars has started to blossom. And we're getting ready for 20 laps with Zachary Curtis, your pole sitter, the black machine at the front of the field. Driving for Bougie Motorsports. Kenny Roth starting in the second spot after a great heat race earlier today. Here they come looking for green. 20 laps of Bomber B action underway. Boy, and they are two and three wide. They're going through the grass in turn number one. For the Bomber B division, that's a perfect start. Down the back straight away we go. And look at the Mustang, Ben Say making work now in the 58. Watching through the field, everybody's good. Down the back straight away, field starts to single out a little bit. And Zach Curtis will lead lap number one. Ben Say has moved into the second spot. Kenny Roth runs in third in car number 80. His first start of the season did not race last week. And the 05 machine who won the heat, Colton Tut running well. Oh, the 24 Australia getting a little sideways in that upper group and hangs onto it. Here comes Chuck Rush in the canine, and the yellow machine. We're in the bottom of the racetrack, Australia now in the mallet. Chase Simons throws it into turn number one on the inside of Shannon Tut's 2T. We stay green. Oh, tight flirting with a wall. Off to number two. We're, we're good. All good. Watch the 49. Jason Scrover and started in the back. Most recent winner's curse. Thanks for winning. Now we'll see what you can do from the back of the field. That is a rule all year long. If you win the race, next time you show up, you go to the back. Even if you don't show up for the next race. You show up here at the end of the year and you won the last race to the back with you. Zach Curtis has company, the little Mustang. Ben Say driving the second generation white pony. Trying to close in now for the lead. Twenty-seven Australia. He's low. Oh, Chuck Rush just turns around in front of the field. Look out! Everybody somehow, some way gonna get by. Chuck Rush goes around and he's still got more cars coming at him. Hello, nice to see you, Gray Car. Well, that could have been real bad. Chuck Rush running right there in the fifth or sixth spot, turned around in front of five or six cars, and they all got through. The caution is out with four complete. It is Zachary Curtis, your leader, Ben Say in the Mustang in second. Kenny Roth having a great run today in third. The 05 Colton Tut also having a great run in his first trip out here. And then the mallet, Chase Simons up to fifth. Here we go. Green flag back in the air for the Bomber Bees. Watch Chuck Rush. And the yellow comes back out, no start. Oh, look out, yellow is out on the back straightaway and only half the field knows it. Now they all know it. All right, let's try this again. We did have a couple of cars out of line to the back of the field. That's why the restart was called off. And if they don't behave this time, they'll get the black flag. So the green flag will come out with four laps complete. And they go right back at it. Oh, some contact here. Like Kenny, we get a little skinny leaning into the 58, ripped his side skirt right off. Looks like the 24 Australia is going to get the black flag. He changed lanes again, coming to the restart. Had to be behind the K9. He went to the inside. Black flag for Australia. Clear as day. 
Top two breaking away. Look out. Oh, the 2T chopped the nose off. 316 of runner. In black flag for the 24 Australia. He changed restart lanes. Went to the inside of Chuck Rush before we got the green. So the black flag is out. Tough day for the Australians. Up front, still Zach Curtis in the zero. The best appearing car showing the way right now. And I mean that with love. Four third. 05, Colton Tut. Driving around the outside of Skinny Ross, number 80. The call stop and go penalty for the 24. Oh, and he, I guess he thinks I'm going to stop and go on the racetrack. No, no, no. Stop and go in the pits, buddy. The 24, Straley, uh, he's going to be... He's going to stop in turn number two. That'll probably get him parked for the rest of the night. 24 will be done for the night for that little job. Again, they told him to do a stop and go on pit road, and he decided to do one on the outside of turn number two. Again, he was penalized for changing lanes. He was supposed to line up behind the K-9. He ran over the choose zone. And he did not listen to race control twice and then told to do a stop and go and then parked on the racetrack. So he's been told he is done for the day. Parked on the track, we'll park him in the pits. And now Straley's gonna ask Austin in turn number four what he's doing tomorrow for dinner. I guess now's a good time to remind everybody the race director will be available in the last lap saloon for 30 minutes after the race. So again, just to tell the story and let everybody know what's going on with the 24, he ran over the choose zone. He ran smack over the V, ran smack over the square. It was clear as day, just like Zach Curtis just did there under yellow. So he was penalized to the back of the field, back of the end, uh, end of the longest line, which was behind the canine of Chuck Rush. For two restarts in a row, he pulled to the inside of Chuck Rush. So they told him he needed to do a stop and go down pit road, and then he stopped on the racetrack to draw a caution. And that drew the ire of race control and has ended his night. So that is the story. Race director's right next to me, so that's about as uh, true as it gets. Six laps complete. All right, we're going to choose this time, race director, reminding the field not to touch the orange on the racetrack. Make your selections. Do not touch the V. Do not touch the square. And the front four, five, they all have the message. Everybody else filing in will reset the field for you. A couple of drivers making late, late decisions, but Larry Master says, to heck with your choose zone. Put me at the back. I'm there anyway. All right, Zach Curtis on the inside, your leader, the White Pony. The 58 of Ben Say starting in second here with six complete. Then it's Skinny Roth, Colton Tut, and Chase signs your top five. Green flying back in the air for the Bomber Bees. A charge down into turn number one, side by side for the lead. Oh, Zach Curtis going to run the Mustang up high, and here come, oh, no, 2T into the wall. Skinny Roth wants second. And the Mustang sends it into turn number three. He's sideways. Here comes Colton Tut now. Scrover in last week's winner. He has an issue, and he's slow in the back of the field. A lot going on in that race. And we're still going straight. Two T off the pace. Tut and Scrover in off the pace now at the back of the field. The battle is on for the lead. Stopping on the racetrack will draw you a penalty. And the 49, he must be out of power. Battle for the lead, heating up. Tut is sideways, though. Front straightaway, yellow flag. Yellow is out. Look out on the bottom of the racetrack. Look out. How good are your brakes? Oh, man, tough break for Jason Scrover and tough break trying to get this uh, field back underway. And he's deemed that his incident was a mechanical issue. They had to, they went back to the pits and 
He's ready to resume still on the lead lap, but again at the tail of the field. Still 12 of the 15 are running. Let's see what's gonna happen. Seven complete. Green flag is out. No, it's not. No start, no start. That'll be a good, uh, that'll be a good story for the podcast this week. All right, we'll get Chuck Brewer back in his spot. Lineup is correct. And here we go. Take 72 and a half for the Bomber Bees. Zach Curtis on the inside. Colton Tutt on the outside. Green back in the air. Chuck Rusher in the grass. Perfect. Chuck Rush and the canine, that old junkyard dog. She's hungry tonight. Hungry for grass and dirt, apparently. He's down in the grass again. Whoa, look at this. Contact coming off a of turn number two between the leaders. Here comes Ben Say, that scrappy Mustang. He's back in the mix. Zach Curtis again with the lead. Eight laps complete. Oh, and spins Larry Masters around. We'll see if he can keep it going. Oh, trouble in turn one. Chuck Rush and Kenny Roth. Caution is out again. So trouble. We'll check the damage down the K9 and the 80. They don't look too bad. These are tough little cars, let me tell you. Hey, they're fine. It's like it never happened. They were just uh, trading some vinyl there. All right, still 12 of them left. We are working caution number 12 of the event. It's just like the modifies. They couldn't make eight laps either earlier today, so. Here we go. Coming to the restart. Zach Curtis, your leader. I sound like a broken record. Chuck rushed through the grass like a broken record. Green flag back in the air. Look at this. Chuck rushed. He wants third already. He snookered the field on the restart. For the lead, Tut working the outside of the white machine. And Zachary Curtis flies away on the inside with the top spot. Top three nose to tail. Zach Curtis still leads, but Tut in the 05. Having a good run tonight, a little bit loose, but running well. Chase Simons has worked up into the four spot. Second here a week ago as dad just in victory lane an hour ago. And the battle for second heating up. Three different, four different kinds of cars running one, two, three, four. Tut working the outside. He's going to get loose. Oh, hang on to it, Colton Tut. He did everything but wreck there in turn two. Save of the year, contender. Colton Tut sideways was heading to the infield, but he still runs in second. What a save. He's trying to do it again. Tut is sideways coming through the corners now. If you want to know how to get your tires nice and hot, that's how you do it. And look at it. He's sideways again. He's not going to hang on to this one. There he goes. Tut goes around. Raise your hand if you saw that coming. Yeah, there goes everybody's hands. We're still green, by the way. Now it's yellow. Oh All right, getting ready for the restart. Zach Curtis on the bottom. Ben Say on the outside. Green flag back in the air for this scrappy field of Bomber Bees. Jason Scroverin's back in the mix in the 49, trying to go back to back. He's got five fast cars to pass, though. Side by side for the lead. Ooh, ben Say bounces off Zach Curtis. Boy, they're going to blow the side off the 58 if they're not careful. Zach Curtis making that zero car as wide as can be, especially off the corners. I don't think Zach is used to having this much contact. He's normally like two laps out of the field. Watching the 05, Colton Tut try to work his way back up through this field. He's got time to get back in the mix. Just under half the race to go. Ben Say getting racy in the Mustang. And right now, the Crown Vic, Zach Curtis showing the way. 
Another lap complete, our longest green try of the night, three. Oh, Ben Say gives a little bump there to Zach Curtis. Oh, how you do? Thank you, sir. But I think it slowed up the 58. That 58, man, his advantage is momentum. He can keep that car wound up. That's a six-cylinder Mustang, I believe. At the last iteration of the White Pony was anyways. And Ben Say is looking for the lead. I don't think bumping Zach Curtis is probably the best way to do it, though. But what do I know? I'm up here. He's down there. Battle for third. Chuck Rush. He's moving forward. Chase Simon's going to drop a spot. Last week, the 0 and 58 weren't here. The K9 and 66 were battling. Oh, hang on, Chase. Simon's chasing it up the racetrack and hangs on. Here comes Scrover now. Jason Scrover has worked his way back up through the field. Oh, the 316 runner, he's sideways but hangs on to it. Uh-oh, Chuck Rush pulls way down to the bottom of the race. Just trying to break the draft, no problem. Top two have broken away. Zach Curtis versus Ben Say. Crown Vic versus Mustang. Some call the Crown Vic the crew cab Mustang. And oh, Ben Say got the apron. And that's going to cost him some momentum. It's going to take the 58, a lap and a half to work back up to the back bumper of Zach Curtis. He's got time, but we'll see what's going to happen. Kenny Roth trying to work back up through the field in the 80. A lot going on in the closing stages. Three laps to go for Zachary Curtis. Well, I saw Zach in the pits earlier. They said, I don't like this car. I just, I can't figure it out. You could have fooled me. He's got a half a car length lead. Here comes the Mustang. Ben Say. Boy, he's looking to the inside. Curtis slams the door again. I told you, it's going to take him a lap and a half to catch him. He's there. He's getting loose. We're coming to two to go. Two horse race. Crown Vic versus Mustang. Chuck Rush in the junkyard dog. He's worked up to third. Jason Scrover and Chase Simons battle side. Oh, and Ben Say's off the pace. Ben Say's off the pace on the back straightaway. Ben Say going for the lead. Car shuts down with a couple to go. White flag is out. Zach Curtis away with the lead. Big problems for the 58. Last time off turn number two. Let's see if he can stay in it this time. And now the 58, he's struggling. We'll see if he can make it to the checkers. No struggle up front. Zachary Curtis in the zero is going to get it done. Ben Say is going to hang on for second. Chuck Rush third. Chase Simons, Jason Scrover in the top five. What a wild scramble, what a wild race tonight for the Bomber B division, but some things change and then everything stays the same. Ladies and gentlemen, here he comes out of the car. It's here for Zachary Curtis, your race winner. Well, sir, you, you're playing possum with me a little bit earlier today. I saw you back in the pits and you're like, I don't like this thing, I can't figure it out. Well, you could have fooled us. I, you won by half a straightaway. Doesn't matter. This car, another car, Enduro, doesn't matter. You come out here, you're, you're always a winner. And you got another one. Yeah, we did. This is, a, this is the first time out in this car. I bought this like a year ago. And uh, I've been so fortunate. Bougie Motorsports, uh, Frank and Holly, they, they gave me a car to drive. Cody Gray, he gave me a car to drive. I mean, I've been driving these Crown Vicks for everybody. And uh, We've been winning, and I got my own I've had for a year, and I'm like, you know what? I need to finally get this thing out here. So tonight was our test run, and uh, we struggled with it for a while in practice. We were, I don't know what I ran for lap times out there, but we had to have been seven, eight tenths off of what we just ran in the race. So I'm happy. Yeah, I saw you up there in the Simons pits. I figured when, when you told me you didn't like the way the car was driving, I'm like, well, he's getting tips from Chase because Chase has been so good. But really, man, I think you're one of those guys, if it ain't quite right, you just dig deep and find a way. Oh yeah, we were uh, we were searching all day. I I can't thank Bougie Motorsports, uh, Frank and Holly for helping me, sponsoring me. Farmers Garage, they buy my tires and stuff too. Big shout out to my father-in-law for uh, coming here today, which my dad came also, and my grandpa. I couldn't have done it without them. Uh, my father-in-law was wrenching on this thing all day, changing every single part on it for me, trying to get it right, and uh, we figured it out. I'd say so. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for your winner, Zachary Curtis in Car Zero.
All right, we'll let Zach get some pictures. And he just had to say, man, that 58 was a was a rocket. He didn't know what he was going to do with that thing. And he's, he's glad he didn't have to deal with him there at the end. Go to patreon.com slash speedway video now. In the 59 and 41 looked very strong in the heat. Green flag is out and we're underway. Outside groove getting the jump. Look at William Roberts in the 83, digging on the high side. Michael Whipple's 35 started on the pole. That inside lane getting stacked up behind him. Becca Monopoly's blue truck with nowhere to go. And Jeffrey White's going to come off turn number four in lead, lap number one. Jeffrey. A little bit of contact here further back in the field with Kyle and the 21. Some sparks now to the 24, Dalton Smith. Battle for second, Palmer Hag, last year's rookie of the year. Out of Windermere, he's looking to the inside now of Roberge out of Canada. Nolan Mesa's 28 to the pits. Contact for the back in the field with the two and the 21. They straighten it out. A tough break for Nolan Mesa's 28. Looking forward to this season. They'll be behind the eight ball after race number one as he pulls pit side. Truck just hasn't quite been where he's needed it to be all day, and it'll be a short outing in the feature. Jeffrey White with a big lead, but it is a dog fight behind him as Beck Monopoly finally works by the 35 of Whipple. Chuck Ayers in the 21, he got pushed backwards in the opening of the race. He's trying to work his way back up through the field, not having much luck right now. Oh boy, more contact with Love and Ayers. Oh boy, the two is not happy with the 21, and thankfully for Ayers, the 24 was down there because I think, I think the two was going after him. Keep your eye on the white 21, the black number two. Chuck Ayers and the two of Devin Kyle. No love loss between those two right now. Robert stacking up Martins in the 88. Wilson Martins Jr. wants third away from William Robert. So we have the field now pretty much down single file. Jeffrey White got the big jump on the go. He has not looked back. He's got a big lead over the 55 of Palmer Hag. Comfortable lead, but the way this field is racing, the yellow flag won't take long to come out. Back in Monopoly, working to the inside of Martins, gets tight off the corner, falls back in line. Boy, really seeing aerodynamics coming into play here tonight. When you get inside of another car coming off the corner, that momentum is not on your side. Monopoly finally works the inside of Wilson Martins Jr. He's having a good run early on this thing. Martins getting a little loose. Here comes Whipple. Martins was looking for third. Now he's going to drop back to about sixth. Back of Monopoly trying to charge from the back of the field. Started in third but got caught in that inside lane. Michael Whipple's truck didn't want to go at the drop of the green. His truck's running just fine now. Back of Monopoly in the 59. Look at the inside of Robert's now for the third spot. Monopoly's blue truck working forward now. Leader closing in on Ernie Winton, number 95. Winton pulls down on the inside. His pro truck debut as he's just learning the ropes here tonight. But he stays down out of the way of the leaders. Back of Monopoly still working over William Roberts for that third spot. That is the best battle on the racetracks. The trucks 
Calm, cool, and collected. His next time by, they'll get the crossed flags halfway home. Back in Monopoly, battling William Robesh for third. Still the best battle on the racetrack. The top two in their own zip code right now. Ernie Winton lap truck now for Robert to navigate. Robert's getting a little bit sideways, but hangs on to third. Monopoly gets by the 95 as well. Things settle back down. Jeffrey right on cruise control right now. Monopoly with a sniff to the inside of the 83. Monopoly still can't get by. Going to have a good look off turn number two, though. Side by side. Down the back straight away for third. Back of Monopoly trying to make something happen. Robert hangs on to the spot for now. Jeffrey White leads us to 10 to go. Back of Monopoly finally gets inside and by the 83 of William Robert. They may have touched going into three there for a moment. Chuck Ayers trying to rally. He dives to the inside of Maria Martins in turn number three. 21 and 07 now side by side here down the main straightaway. It's going to allow Kyle's number two to catch back up. A lot of sparks out of the 24 Dalton Smith. Ayers is sideways. Here comes Kyle. Oh boy, he had his opportunity and he thought better of it. Remember earlier in the race, those two got together. Kyle had his shot and rode up. Jeffrey White on cruise control does not want to see a yellow. Looking at lap times, Palmer Hag a little bit quicker now on the 55. Time not on his side. 18 laps complete. This four truck battle back here down the main straightaway into one. That's been the eye of the storm much of the event. The caution's gonna come out. It's probably gonna be back there, but so far, we've not seen one. Five laps to go for Jeffrey White. Palmer Hag in the double five in second, but it's a distant second. Probably gonna need the aid of a yellow, and I'm not sure if we're gonna get one. Could be our first wire wire race of the evening. Ernie Witten goes another lap down, gets down out of the way of the leaders. Palmer Hag gonna catch him in a bad spot on the racetrack. He's gonna lose time with the 41. Jeffrey White on cruise control now with two miles left. Dalton Smith with a handful of steering wheel coming off turn number two with that time, but he does hang on to it. Final stages of the Ashley Holmes Jacks Pro Truck 25. Boy, those rear brakes on the 24 go low and whoa, Chuck here sideways and around he goes. There's gonna be the yellow on the back straightaway. Chuck Ayers goes around with two to go, hold everything. Oh boy, just when you thought this one was in the bag, maybe you thought so had it halfway, but oh boy, Chuck Ayers was trying to dig there and truck got loose and around she went, didn't hit anything, so he'll drive away. Palmer Hag, 55, goes to the inside. Hag looking for his first new Smyrna win, rookie of the year here a season ago, and has become a contender wherever that 55 shows up. Here we go. White, the veteran, Hag, the sophomore, Restart with two to go. Very important to get a good one. We're back in the way. Boy, about as even as they could get, but pushing and shoving going into one. Palmer Hag on the bottom. He's loose. He's sideways. Oh, Jeffrey White sideways too. And here comes Monopoly. They touch again. Whoa, Monopoly into Hag. And that gives the advantage to the 41. Here comes Becca Monopoly up to second. White flag will fly. Final lap for Jeffrey White in the 41. Back of Monopoly, he's got a charge here. Got to close the gap. Only half a lap to go as they go down the back straightaway. Palmer Hag 
got sideways, a lot of jostling for position, and it's not going to filter his way. Coming off of turn number four, dominant performance for Jeffrey White in the 41. He wins a Monopoly second, Hag is third. It's Wilson Martin Jr., William Roberts, and the rest of his friends. Jeffrey White ready to climb out. Make some noise for him. We'll talk to him in a second. A lot of people here. A lot of people to see Jeffrey in victory lane. So he gets the congratulations from the team. We'll see if we can sneak on in here. Well, Jeffrey, good to see you back here in victory lane in this pro truck. I know you guys went over to Auburndale last week and you said you all struggled, but you came back to your home track here in New Smyrna put on a whale of a performance. I know you did not want to see that caution with two laps to go, but congratulations on holding them off. Yeah, I definitely didn't want to see that caution. Uh, my spotter, Eugene, tonight, he just told me, you know, you got half a track, and we were just pacing ourselves the whole time. And uh, did definitely did not want to see that caution, hoping we were going to 25 all green. But uh, we made a good show out of it, I think. Hopefully, hopefully the fans enjoyed it. It was, it was very exciting to watch. I got to ask you. With a 55 and 59, everybody battling there, how did you hang on to those things? You were squirrely down that back straightaway. I, I, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I don't even know. Coming out of two, this thing was sideways, but, you know, it's a green-white checker, so I was holding on into it. You just keep the throttle down and hope for the best, right? Yes, sir. Um, I'd like to thank Ax Action, no, Ashley Jack's Home Trucks for putting up the extra money. I'd like to thank that man right there, Johnny Gonzalez Plumbing. He helped, he's been helping us out for the last couple months, and it's been awesome. I also like to thank my mom and dad, everybody here that uh, bun bust their butt back of the shop. Like you said last weekend, we had a horrible weekend, but uh, you know you have bad ones and you have good ones, so this is a good one. And I got my baby daughter here tonight for me too. That makes it even more special, Jeffrey. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Jeffrey White, your pro truck winner here tonight, and we're gonna back up, get ready for the 602s. Kenny, what happened uh, down the front straightaway? You and Chuck Rush at track it a little too skinny for you yeah chuck uh gave me no room so uh it is what it is i had to stop or else he would uh really hit the wall but it's racing it was fun hope you guys enjoyed it well hey as long as you had fun go to patreon.com slash speedway video now club style division Hang in there, scheduled for 20 laps. Sportsman scheduled for 25 after this to wrap up. Well, it's been an exciting night of racing here at the New Smyrna Speedway. Again, appreciate you folks being here, sticking around with us. We'll see what's going to happen here. Pretty good little heat race out of the 602s. Hopefully that translates to the feature. Green flag set to fly. Field in formation. Outside lane with a jump. Shane held like a rocket ship away with the lead. And Shane held, who had good speed in his modified, his Jane C. Great all modified earlier today. Now uh, that translating to the 602 as he's pulling away. And he's almost got half a straightaway on these guys. What did they put in that thing? Shane's been eating his Wheaties, apparently. straightaway side by side battle for the third position and the yellow is going to come out yellow flag is out on the speedway we've got to get somebody out of the speedway here so the yellow flag is out for an emergency situation that uh, so the emergency services tending to somebody. We're going to transport them out the back gate here. We're going to get them out of the infield of the speedway so that uh, we can help them out. So that is the reason for the yellow. We apologize for the very long delay, but sometimes there are just more important things that have to be taken care of before we can continue our fun. So we appreciate the 602s. I know it's probably hot in those race cars, but they are set to go and probably antsy to get this one underway. Green flag back in the air. Good restart for Shane Held in car 33, but here comes Christopher Hatton in a 0-9. Oh, contact, Tony Pereira. Oh, no. Oh, no. Huge hit, huge crash off turn number two, red flag. Red flag is out, Tony Pereira with a tank slapper off turn number two. Two. 
Safety team on its way. Our pace car and fire headed that way as well to check on our driver. Huge hit off turn number two. Our focus now on Tony Pereira. Well, good news on the back straightaway. Window net is down on the four of Tony Pereira. Thank goodness. That was one of the hardest hits we've seen in a long time. Now, folks, good news is, again, on the back straightaway, window net was down. I believe we just saw the driver cross over. He is walking back towards his pit. So a hard crash over there. Thank goodness driver is okay. No, we have no patient. No patient. And again, just now we're getting the conf uh, confirmation. Driver not happy, but okay. Tony Pereira with a hard shot that will certainly make the highlights on Speedway video but not the way Tony Pereira wanted to end his night. So under red here, once again, we'll get it fired back up. Big hit, a lot of fluid came out of the machine. That's what you saw uh, catch on fire there momentarily out of the Pereira 4 car. So here we go. 6.02 mods with Shane Held, your leader on the outside. Tom Toronto on the inside. Green flag back in there. And Shane Held gets the jump again. Here comes the 09. Everybody going to tiptoe off turn number two through the beach, and we're back. Field gets single file. It is thin to half. And let's see if they can get in a line. Nice orderly race here. Lap three is complete. Two hours later, lap number three is on the board. Shane Hell going to lead lap number four for Christopher Hatton, the defending champion of the 602 Modified Division, closing in quickly. Oh, Shane Hell, a little twitchy there. Off to number two. That'll get the run of the 09 of Christopher Hatton. Christopher Hatton getting aggressive here. Five laps complete. Shane Held had a rocket ship the opening laps, and now he's got company. And Kelly Jarrett's got no power off to number two. Jarrett, he had problems under that extended red flag for the safety concerns. They're going to try to get him off the racetrack on the back straight away. Jarrett is to safety. We stay green. Six complete for Shane Held in the 33. He's got the 09 of Hatton. All over that back bumper, putting the pressure on. He's a car length off right now. But Chris Hatton really rolling through the corners. Shane Held gets wide. Hatton looks low. Held hangs on. Oh, the 09 took a shot to the bottom of the racetrack. Washed up high. Loses a car link now down the back. Oh, big run by the 09 going into turn number three. Shane Held, though, hangs on to the lead eight complete.
time, 33, back and forth they go. Shane Held pulls away on the straightaways, but he's not getting through the corners quite as well as the 09 of Hatton. Nose to tail at the front of the field. They'll get crossed flags this time by Held a little wide. Again, the 09 cannot capitalize. Bumper tag down the main straightaway here into turn number one. Christopher Hatton trying to send him in harder than he wants to go, but so far, Shane Held holds on to the spot. Lap traffic ahead, that is Kurt Hatton's number 19. He'll keep it low. He'll let the leaders go by. Oh, he might mess him up in turn number one on entry. Not too bad. Kurt Hatton struggling tonight in the 19 off the pace. 11 complete. Shane Held still leads, got a good battle for the lead, even though there's only about three fast race cars left. Oh, and now the 09 ducks to the bottom. Drag race into turn number one. Shane Held gonna run the middle groove, Hatton down on the bottom. Shane Held powers off turn number two and holds on to the top spot. As this battle rages on, oh, the 09 lost the front end a little bit there that time as they rage on. Sportsman drivers starting to get to their race cars, so their race is almost finally here. Still a good battle up front. Shane Held gonna bring us to six laps to go. Tom Toronto back in third. He might be in the catbird seat if these guys get to racing as laps wind down, just five to go. Five laps to go for Shane Held. Oh, he struggled off turn number two that time. Hatton gives him the shot into three. Christopher Hatton is hoping that he'll push Shane Held into the corner faster than he wants to go. They make him slip up the racetrack. He's really working over that back bumper. Four to go. Held leads Hatton with a run off turn number two. Can't do anything with it this time. This time by three laps to go. Shane Held and Christopher Hatton making this race worth your while here tonight. Good battle for the win. Christopher Hatton got off turn two very well that time. Instead of taking the run, he gets into the back of Shane Held again, pushes him up the track. He's gonna get the launch off of two. Popsicle sticks this time, two to go. Christopher Hatton did not have a good turn number four that time. He had the he had the momentum, he had the run. This last time down the back straightaway, can he get it this time? Oh, now the 09 into him again, trying to get him loose. Coming to the white flag. We're not done yet. It's going to be a battle all the way to the line. Christopher Hatton aggressive behind the wheel. The 09 lap traffic ahead. It's Kurt Hatton again. Final lap for leaders. Kurt Hatton laying in the weeds on the bottom of the racetrack. They chase it up the track. Christopher Hatton can't get to the inside. Drag race to the line. Shane Hill wins it. Christopher Hatton second. Hey, driver swap, ladies and gentlemen, Matt Jarrett, your race winner. How about that? Gotta love it when they don't tell us. Well, I have to change up everything because <laughs> it said it was your dad in the car, but obviously it's not. Um, hell of a battle there with Christopher. It's gotta feel a lot better than the way your modified race went, huh? Well, the modified race wasn't bad. I just got too tight and took the wall down, which this was getting close to it, but I can't thank Shane. Shane enough for letting me drive this thing. Um, my spotter, Shane, or Sean. I don't know what we're gonna do without him. Speedway video, thank you for capturing everything for us. We'll be watching this later tomorrow. <laughs> but I can't th I can thank Lee Folk Racing, everybody. Everybody that helps on this car, I love it. What's going through your mind for what felt like probably like two hours for you sitting on the front straightaway waiting out that red flag? I was like, God, it's getting hot in here. Hopefully we get to go soon, so. But we got it going and it came in, came in our favor, so. Worth the wait, huh? Yeah, it was worth the wait, every minute of it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's not Shane Held, it's Matt Jarrett, your race winner tonight. There's Shane Held. <laughs> I gotta thank Jim with, what's Jim's? Oh, Jim Bilstein. Jim with Bilstein. 
he sets up some great cars, gives us some shocks that are amazing. So couldn't make it. We couldn't do it without him and Central Florida Machine and Speed. Matt, congratulations. Let you guys get a few pictures. Go to patreon.com slash speedway video now. And we'll see what happens for Steve Barnes, former champion. I think he's going to need a new tire. There are some sharp edges on the front of that 55, and they got together, according to the race director there, under the yellow flag, under the pace laps. So Steve Barnes will have to go to the back of the field for pitting, regardless of the circumstance. Maybe, hopefully, we'll see the green flag in a minute. Well, there's been enough calamity before the race has started that this one is going to be clean and green to the finish. Here we go. Palmer Hag and George Alexander going to lead us to the green flag. Here they come. No Steve Barnes, no Russ Moore. Green flag in the air. Three wide already. How about that? George Alexander gets the jump in car number 63. Now Matthew Green working to the inside of Palmer Hag's 55. And down the back straightaway field starts to get single file. Whoa, contact and around goes Hetchnecker. 51, keep it off the wall, that we stay rolling. I told you, it's gonna be clean and green. Well, okay, not clean, but we're still green. And speaking of green, it's Matthew Green up to second. Uh, so a 360 and we stay underway. Spotters checking the racetrack for debris battle for the lead. Here comes Matthew Green to the bottom. Green, your new leader on lap two. Matthew Green, a man on a mission here tonight. He is up to the lead. That might be bad news for the rest of the field. Green, Alexander, and Palmer Hag trying to run away from everybody else. Hello, Blaze. Nice to see you, too. He's waving at us down the front. He wants his caution, but they all kept going. Track is clear, so we continue on. A wild night here at New Smyrna. Four complete. Forty-four. Matthew Green still showing the way. George Alexander in second. Palmer Hag in third. Then it's the one machine. Bob Ackerblom. So Matthew Green having to tiptoe to the outside of the one. Battle heating up for second. Oh, Palmer Hag with a big move in lap traffic. Look out in turn one. Palmer Hag with nowhere to go except into the back of the one machine. And oh, they almost got hooked up. And here comes Travis Devendorf into the mix, defending track champion. Oh, and around goes the one. Ackerbaum goes around. And he does not refire right away. So y'all lights, come on. Car dead in the water over there in turn number one. That was uh, brewing. That was brewing from uh, turn two, that last lap. So caution is out here on lap eight. And Blaze got the caution he was hoping for. Came by every lap, sticking his hand out the window, wanting to get one, and hell, he got it. Defending track champion. Did not get the heat race that he was hoping for. So now he's back up in the mix. Matthew Green's big lead has evaporated. Top eight are still in the lead lap. The one is a lap down. The 58 is a couple of laps down. But here we go with seven complete. Sportsman feature back underway. Boy, Palmer Hag does not get going. Devendorf going to the out. So, oh, in contact as they go into one. Oh, and Palmer Hag's got a problem. Stacking up off to number two and around goes to 51. Caution flag immediately back out. 51 of John Robinson has gone around. Palmer Hag's machine did not come up to speed. 
and his sportsman debut here at New Smyrna is going poorly. All right, looks like we are set for the restart. 76 did not listen to race control, so green flag coming back out. No black flag to 76. Back underway in the Sportsman main event. And look at this, George Alexander got through one and two very well with Matthew Green. Gonna fight back on the outside. He goes back to the front, Reeves up to third. Devendorf still in fourth. Dylan LeBeau rounding out the top five. Black flag for the 76. Did not listen to race control. It is the driver's responsibility to be able to monitor race control. He did not follow instructions and will now make a trip down pit road. Matthew Green, the leader, watching that white and orange number 55 Palmer Hag try to make his way back up through the field. The black flag for the 76 machine of Blaze Hetchnecker failure to follow instructions. 44, Matthew Green away with the lead with 10 laps complete. Matthew Green still showing the way. 66 or 63, George Alexander. Forty-four, Matthew Green, sixty-three, George Alexander. In third, it is the twenty-one machine of Reeves. Palmer Hag trying to battle back in the mix. Look at the hood. Hood starting to flap in the breeze now for the fifty-five. Palmer Hag in the fifty-five going to move back up into the top five here as he battles with LeBeau. Here comes that 51 machine. John Robinson working back into the mix. Matthew Green with a comfortable lead coming to lap number 14 this time. 14 laps in the books for Matthew Green. Boy, the hood on the 55 wrinkled up with contact earlier in the race. I gotta hope that's gonna stay bolted on the right side so it doesn't fly on the racetrack, draw yellow. Fifteen laps in the books for Matthew Green. He continues to lead over the 63 of George Alexander. Laps beginning to wind down here in this sportsman feature. Things calming down on the racetrack. Battle for the sixth position here. Lebeau in the 88. He's got that spot. 51 of Robinson trying to take it away. And yellow gonna come out, four debris. Yellow flag on the speedway, four debris. Next in what's been a wild, chaotic night. Getting ready for the restart. Matthew Green, the orange machine, pulls away the lead, and Palmer Hague does not get going again, and we're wrecking. Steve Barnes, Dylan LeBeau, they get caught up in it. So trouble on the restart again. Palmer Hag did not get going. And LeBeau and Barnes gonna have a conversation about it, but 
55 did not get going, stacked up the field, and these guys had nowhere to go. Gonna make a bad day worse for both of them. Finish this one here, folks. Wild and crazy night here at New Smyrna. What can happen next? Just a heat race left to go. Your leader, 44, Matt Green, 63, George Alexander down on the bottom. Here comes the field. Green is out. Good restart up front, and Matthew Green pulls away. Here comes the 21, Daniel Reeves, looking for more on the outside. Battle for second. Side by side into turn number three. Alexander on the bottom. Here comes LeBeau back out. Dylan LeBeau is trying to get back in the race. Heads up on pit road. Matthew Green in his own zip code right now. Oh, and Palmer hanging the wall. Hanging the 55, wallops the outside wall. Boy, oh boy, tough debut for the 55 machine. Caution is out for the 55 on the back straight away. And we'll check with scoring, but Dylan LeBeau might be in good shape here in the 88. So lights are off in the pace car. Set to get it out of the way. Matthew Green in command of this race. We'll see if he can hang on and win it. Green flag back in the air. Matthew Green around the high side again. Gets away with the lead. He's going to try to pull away down the back straight away as they fight for second. Reeves into that second spot. Devendorf trying to get in the mix. The seven car just doesn't seem to quite have the muscle it normally does tonight, but he's up to third nonetheless. George Alexander did not work out on the outside. His car out there, about the only one without a mark at this point. Robinson in the 51, into fifth. LeBeau hanging out in sixth. It'll be five laps to go this time by. Green in the 44 with a comfortable lead. Reeves trying to reel him in here. Time running out. Two miles remaining with four laps. Four laps to go for the double four. Matthew Green pulling away. He's making it look easy. He's about the only car out there that's had an easy night. Third in the modified tonight. Looking for the sportsman win to start 2024. And now just three to go. to go for Matthew Green in the 44. Two to go. No pressure right now from Reeves, but Reeves having a great run in the 21 machine. Devendorf in third, then it's Alexander Robinson LeBeau. This time by the white flag will fly. Final trip through one and two. Matthew Green off the corner, no pressure. If he hits his marks in three and four, he's gonna come home a winner. Matthew Green in the 44. Looking for his second podium of the night. Tonight, he'll win it. Matthew Green gets it done. Reeves is second. Devin Dorf is third, and it's Alexander Robinson LeBeau. And Bob Ackerbaum in the one. Gonna hang on for a seventh place.
All right, Matthew Green getting ready to hop out of this thing. Our final winner of the night. And oh, he ripped his pants. Literally. Matthew Green, your winner. And his uh, winnings will go to a new driver's suit. Well, how about that? Listen, Matthew, it's been the craziest night we've had here in quite some time, so that was destined to happen. But uh, hell of a race for you. You're about the only guy that didn't have problems tonight, and you dominated that one. Yeah, I felt like I was running more laps in the sports tonight than the modified, but uh, I'm glad that one's finally over. We had a pretty good race car, but, you know, to say restart, I had to restart, something's bound to go wrong. I was ready to get that one over with. Too many restarts, something's going to happen. And coming two to go with a race like that, you hear every bolt and every nut rattle in the car just waiting for something to happen. I've had it happen to before. So I got to thank my mom, my dad, Bruns General Contractors, B&L Custom Creations. Uh, Richard Griffiths comes out and helps us. We help him on the truck, comes and helps us. The whole Brickhouse crew, they let me do the double a day when the modified is the pride and joy. And they supported me driving this thing tonight, and I'm glad I finally put them in victory lane. Well, you said earlier after the modified race, you're glad this one was at the end of the night. I was hoping you were going to fall asleep at the end of this one. It's, it's been a long night, but a third and a first great night for you. Yeah, that last caution, I was getting a little dizzy. Uh, we just felt like we were going to ride around there for a while, but I'm glad it's finally over. And we had a rough red eye. I got beat by tires, and we weren't going to do it again this time. So I'm glad to get the win. Anybody else you need to thank? Yeah, I'd like to thank the fans for sticking around. I'm sorry that uh, the last three races took three hours, but at least we got to put on a little bit of a show. Well, I think you gave the fans something good to watch. Congratulations. Matthew Green takes home the win in the sportsman division tonight. And we'll let him get some photos here. And again, th this night had literally everything. And the worst thing to happen to Matthew Green was he ripped his pants. So, Scott, first of all, great to see you out here at New Smyrna. And good to see you back up towards the front here. I know you guys have struggled with this car over the past few years. But you got it hooked up today and kept it clean. So congratulations on a great run. Thank you. It's, uh, it's, it's been a long process. Uh, I'm proud of everybody that we do the work on that thing. Some friends of mine, Finney Racing, but we don't we don't spend a lot of money on this car. It's just we've just been working at it, and it's it's fun. The restarts were a blast, but I was having a meltdown sitting in the cars for so long before the race. I was about to I was starving, but everything's good though. We're I it, it's been a while since we've had a picture in Victory Lane, and we're getting one today. Absolutely. Well, that's that's what it's all about. And glad you guys stuck around. I know that had to be frustrating for for you, for the fans, for everybody, just trying to get to your race. But I'm glad it worked out for you, and we'll let you get those pictures. All right. Thank you, bud. Scott Reeves brings it home with a strong second place finish, and that will wrap up a wild night. Thank you to you fans who stuck here to the end of the night. You guys are the true diehards. I know it was long. I know it was wild. There's a lot of delays tonight, but truly, we thank you. We hope you enjoyed yourself. Hope you got your money's worth. Hope you saw plenty of action because there's plenty of it to be had. And uh, we're going to end the night here. I want to thank you again for sticking around with us on behalf of myself and everybody here at New Smyrna. My name is Ryan Stevens. I had fun watching these races with you. We'll see you next week. Whew, what a marathon. Remember to go to jegs.speedwayvideo.org. Today is the last day, March 17th, 2024 for saving up to $50, whatever the thing said about a million times tonight, because there were so many cautions. Anyway, patron of the week, Doug Samian, it's you, buddy. Do all lawn and tree. If you need work done in the area, call do all lawn and tree. Great racing daddy out there. I can appreciate that as a father myself, taking care of your daughter, Lindsay, making sure she's got a good bomber B to run or whatever division she's going to be working on. And it's still great to see Doug behind the wheel when he does get behind the wheel. That guy knows what he's doing. We'll see you next week. Go to patreon.com slash speedway video now.